Into to a score of 10 to 2. It's a really good game. I mean, we just annihilated the Twins. A uh, quick recap of the game. In the first inning, we got two walks by LeMahieu and then Judge. Gala struck out. Santon got hit by a pitch. And then Luke Voigt had a good game. He singled to left. That scored two runs there. But we weren't done. Odor flew out. Sanchez singled. Velasquez walked with the bases loaded to give us a run. Then Gardner singled. Sanchez was out at home. But that kind of set the pace for the rest of the game because we did not stop firing on any cylinder. It, we just crushed them. Cortez pitched today. Seven innings on the day. I'm not too, I'm not a fan of him pitching past five. Third time around, he gets hit a lot. His OPS is over a thousand the third time around, so not a big fan of that, but I mean, I guess you can use him. You can use him here because you don't need him to pitch in a, a close game here. In a close game, we better pull him a little bit quicker. Um, Cortez, seven innings, seven strikeouts, a home run for his two earned runs and four hits. It's a really good outing. Then Julio Rodriguez came in. Yeah, he's a He's good. He is sinker is fantastic along with his changeup. I mean, he's a his stuff is really good. I know he hasn't pitched too well overall on the season, but his stuff is good, and I really like him as a lefty. I think he has one more year of team control. So he went in, pitched an inning, got two strikeouts. Then Brody Corner came in to close the ninth, and he scared me a little. I mean, we have a bleed, so I'm not too concerned. But he walked a guy. Looked like he was gonna walk another. End up getting the out. And with one out, ball is crushed to Odor. And he makes a brilliant backhand dive. Like, it knocked him down. It was fantastic. He flipped it to short. Velasquez doesn't have the arm. Couldn't turn it. But it's a really, really good play. And then corner ended up getting out of it. I don't know. A little bit. Line drive to short, but not hit too hard. Um, So the majority of our runs... We're from Voigt. He singled to give us our first two. We talked about the first inning. Judge hit a home run to right. With a Mayhew on. It's a good hit to... <clears throat> good hit. I think it was 340 feet or something. Not a moonshot, but we'll take it. Especially from Judge. He's heating up a lot. And then Voigt. Hit a ground roll double. The runner on... What was it? First and second. Gallo scored. Stanton went to third. I mean, he just crushed it, hands in. Really good job there. Then in the seventh, Voigt hit a home run to center. It was in the bullpen there. He knew it off the bat. It was, he had a game, four hits. Then LeMahieu, he actually hit a home run. Hands in on a fastball inside with a runner on. Wade scored there. I saw something on TV there. That was his first home run since June 26th against the Red Sox. That's too long. That's over a month. We really need him heating back up, but overall, just a really, really good win. Not much to complain about there. Not much. I mean, Voight. Yeah, and he's battling for the spot with Rizzo. And I like what we can do now. We can have Voight DH, but... The the DH role isn't assigned to one guy. It isn't like, oh, now Stanton Stanton's the DH. No, he plays the field now, which is really good. Now we can have Voigt DH when Rizzo plays first, or give Rizzo a day off and have Voigt DH. Wait, <laughs> and have Voigt play first. It's a lot more versatility in this Yankee lineup, which is the big thing in my mind. We're just getting versatility from all of our players. We're not like. We were stuck at the start of the season of this slow team that's just right-handed hitting. Now we have a more fast team, more electric team. I just like it a lot more overall. Um, The Rays are tied in the bottom of the fifth right now versus the White Sox. Hopefully they lose. Then we're only going to be four games back. So, good win. Let's try to keep it rolling.